I woke up that morning to a cool, brisk breeze coming through my window. The smell of fresh sea air. Oh yeah, juicy. I was a bit tired and groggy, but I was excited for the day. I was going to be headed onto the SS Monkey with all my monkey pals, and we were going to be headed on a giant adventure out into the sea to deliver some expensive cargo into the monkey world. I mean, this surely was going to make us rich, and we'd never have to work a day in our monkey lives again. So as we all boarded the ship, getting ready for our great voyage, we prepared everything and headed on our way. We cruised through the sea at a great rate. I mean, we were making phenomenal time. The smell of the fresh sea air, the wide open vast ocean. I mean, there was nothing else in sight, no land, and there was a really great element of peace to it all. Just being out there with nothing, you and your monkey pals, I mean, what gets better than that? But here's the part I was worried for. We're gonna be headed through the Arctic tundra next. Yeah, not good. Not a place you want to be. I mean, there was going to be some crazy, crazy fish that might give us some problems. And as we got closer and closer to passing through the Arctic on our way to our next stop, we loaded up our weapons because it was going to get steamy. We had heard of rumors where ships disappearing and getting lost in this area. And, well, we knew for sure we didn't want to be one of them. But that's the price to pay when you're doing an expensive cargo load like this. As we headed into the Arctic Tundra, we saw stuff like the pufferfish moab flapping through the waters. Even a few spottings of shark DDTs under the water. And we knew it was getting sticky. But that's when Larry came up. Oh my goodness, Larry the Lobster. We had wondering where he went. He came up and he smashed our ship in the side, splitting it right in half. Oh my goodness, monkeys flying overboard. Everything was going real bad. Oh no. And I thought this might be the end for myself and our monkey friends. Thankfully, we were right next to an iceberg, so we all climbed through the freezing water and hopped on and... Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to the shipwreck. This is our cute little shipwreck here from our cargo boat, and now we are trapped in this Arctic tundra. We're gonna have to deal with things like the pufferfish of Moab. Of course, Larry the Lobster, Shark DDTs, Pirate Turtles EMGs, oh my goodness. And if we can get through all that, well, the bad whale, oh my, oh my. Check out this track too. Being in the Arctic Tundra, we have Santa's little helpers. <laughs> the balloons coming straight on through for a track like this. We're gonna call in one of our ships here, the Monkey Buccaneer, and this is how we're gonna get started in this little shindig. And look at that, a little, little fishy. Is that a, is that a narwhal? Oh, nice. So the good news is we got some ships, right? We were storing them. These are the getaway ships out of the shipwreck, right? I mean, we had to get over to the stinking Arctic <laughs> plains of ice somehow. And so the good news with the monkey buccaneer, grape shot, hot shot, and then going into favorite trades and merchantman. Oh, it's the money recipe. And I love money. And hopefully this giant polar bear doesn't eat us alive while we're over here. Maybe we won't place any monkeys over here so he doesn't pump them up. <laughs> now, this is going to be a tricky map. As you saw, we only have pretty much one straight line. We got a little bit of curvature, but one straight line for the most part, and that is not good. <laughs> like, if you think about something like the Shark DDT coming in later, just meow, zooming through this track, I mean, that's not what you want to see, especially not on around like 95. No way, Jose. And whereas Larry and like the turtle will be tough, I think we can get him CC'd and, you know, be all right. But that bad whale, thinking about that giant boy flying through the ocean, I mean, there's no CC stopping him. He's coming straight through. And if we don't take it down, I mean, we're not beating this. Even just some of these little balloons barely burning to the hot shot, but still getting pretty far. But luckily early, I mean, no, not a problem. Not a problem for a guy like me. But thankfully, we're going to grab merchant men here. And now we can start making some money and a little extra damage. And we'll get some more buccaneers. Oh boy. If we can figure out where the heck they go. Oh my goodness. It's so hard I can't see the track. Because <laughs> there is no track. <laughs> this is going to be our best bet here. If we can get all these silly little monkeys making us money. Beat all of these fishies in the great sea. Then we'll have a chance to put our ship back together. Alright, I'm hoping. You know, if there's no balloons stopping us. It's going to be a great opportunity to build our ship back up. And maybe we can break down some of these wood pieces of this house over here and find something useful to build our ship. But for now, we gotta take down these balloons. And they are stopping for nobody. I wonder if we can place a monkey on our ship. <laughs> we cannot. Oh wait, we can! Just not on this one, wait. 
Oh wait, it could fit in the water too. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but we can actually fit a monkey right here. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right, our fourth merchantman here. Things are looking good, right? We're making some good money. But that's when we've all forgotten one slight thing. <laughs> the round foot emojab, the puffer fish. Oh my. I don't know if we're going to be able to take this thing down with these guys, but we will sure try. Let's go ahead and grab an advanced intel sub down here. And at least that will give us like max range on everything we have, right? That'll be super helpful because I don't think these monkey buccaneers are going to cut it. Okay, the great puffer fish. Oh my goodness, he's a reindeer. And he has he's Rudolph the red-nosed puffer fish. <laughs> Quick triple guns. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's getting steamy. And just one yellow leaked. Okay, not a big deal. Nice. Well, that's one menacing fish out of the way. <laughs> and I suppose we'll build up our defenses here. Get more of these stinking fucking ears down. Make more money and, well. Larry will be paying us a visit soon enough. And this sub right here, though, with the, just the triple guns. Oh, it's going to be so useful. Oh, my goodness. Speaking of money. Favorite trades. Oh, and it's so difficult to figure out where in the world you put these things. <laughs> and I want to finish off some in the back there as well. So our advanced intel can hopefully now hit the entire map. Oh, yes. Now, something else I can't forget. Before we embarked on this journey, it was just me and my monkey friends, right? Just guys like us looking to make dollars in the monkey world. But we needed a commander, right? So we went to different merchants around the town and tried to find anybody that might be our captain of the ship and had experience in the naval vessel. And that's when we found Admiral Brickle, <laughs> the perfect captain for our ship and our voyage. So let's get the uh, Brickle in here. Yeah, there we go. Look at that squirt gun. How fun. I think this is probably going to do it for all of our ships. I mean, I can't envision us needing much more than this. Now, if we do go trade empire, I guess we will need more, but we will figure that out when the time comes, I suppose. And we could probably pick up like a, a marketplace. Yeah, look at this, like right here. That'd be pretty good. At least get some type of farm down. A chicken on the iceberg. How about that? You don't see that every day. <laughs> okay, these balloons are terrifying, I gotta say. So we need to do something big. We're gonna get a pontoon, very fitting, the iceberg pontoon. We're gonna call him the brew boy. I mean, we gotta, right? And getting him on the sub to just pack an absolute crazy punch. I mean, mm, it's gonna be juicy. So these balloons don't get so stupid far. And then we just lose because they instantly take the exit. Yeah, I mean, we gotta rebuild this ship. There's no question about it. While my monkeys were battling, I decided to go head over to the shack. That little hut on the iceberg there. I decided I'd go pay to visit. See if there's anything that might help us get out of here and rebuild the ship, right? Once all these balloons were taken down, I mean, we got to figure out something. I looked around and yeah, we had some good parts. We could get some of the lumber and help repair some of our ship for sure if we took apart this building. But that's what I also saw inside. There was a bunch of food rations. There's a bunch of like ropes and fishing supply. I mean, everything we could ever need to help repair a ship and get on our way. But as I collected all those goodies, I knew once we finished fending off these balloons, we're going to all be able to come over here, get everything, take it back to the ship, rebuild this, and be headed on our way. But first, we got Larry. Oh my goodness, look at his reindeer nose. It's Reindeer Larry, everyone. <laughs> all right. I suppose another balloon, another fishy down. We'll get armor-piercing darts here. That'll be good. And I suppose the next thing is the pirate sea turtle. I want to also get down a bank here, right? We'll go inflow and get this into a monkey nomics if we can. Wait, that'd be pretty cool. All right, we need to get another. Oh my goodness, I think that's going to kill us. Holy smokes. Okay, it's fine. I'm not too worried. What we'll do here is we'll get that second sub and then we will get the pontoon again. Well, with camera detect on these guys now and then some jungle drones. At least, I mean, uh, it will be in a good spot, hopefully. And then global range as well. We'll pick up the info and then um, we'll go the increased production just because we only have one. So we might as well take them extra dollars. Let me know in the comments below. I think fast forward mod should be like in the game. It should be a staple, right? There's so many instances where it's just so useful and I feel like it should be in the game. So that's why I've installed it again because it's just so pleasant to have. Okay, now we'll grab Mib. That'll be great. Now these balloons will be hitting everything. No problem. And by balloons, I mean these subs will be hitting balloons. No problem. 
We'll grab another one here, and oh my goodness, we're looking juicy. Uh, subs. Sub, sub, subs. That's the name of the game. And I think in the meantime, I'm also gonna get this trade empire. I mean, holy smokes. Like, we're making crazy money. And pick up a few more favored trades. It's like, look at this. We're clocking the balloons at the entrance right now. Not even Larry can get by. That's how you know it's good. So we might as well take advantage of this. If we're gonna want to get out of this in one piece. From these terrifying fish. And we only have 10 stack on this trade empire, as you see here. I mean, we can still go up to 20. There's definitely a lot of money to be had in this here scenario. Oh yeah, we have the loan too. Oh my goodness, we can pop the loan, go into debt, and buy more money. It's perfect. It's just like real life. <laughs> Honestly, let's be real. Pretty awesome popping power for like what they are. You get grave shot, hot shot, auto camo detect, auto lead popping, like money. Oh my goodness. A DOT? Like, how can you complain about silly guys like this? They, they gotta be up there for one of my favorite towers. Absolutely, for sure. They just do it all. And so it's a great thing, spamming them for the times 20 on the trade empire. Y you get a nice layer of just, like, popping power all throughout the map here. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Okay, but you know what's not nice? We gotta prepare for this round 80. So, I'm gonna get more merchantmen. That's how you prepare, right? I think so. Oh my goodness, but we're running out of space. Okay, here we go, round 80. We're gonna pop the brickle abilities. We have the giant, oh my goodness, wait. We, we popped that way quicker than I thought. Oh my. Yeah, look at that, the sub popped off. <laughs> okay, we'll give it a like and continue onward. Because we beat all those, right? That's cool, that's dandy. But we gotta take down the shark DDT. And then finally the bad whale. If we wanna go collect those resources from that shack, rebuild our ship and absolutely smoke out of here. <laughs> On the good news, though, we just did our times 20 on the Trade Empire. Look at that. We'll go ahead and grab Central Market for funsies, just to finish that off. I really want to get a sub here, too. You can fit somewhere. Oh, my gosh. Where? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, my gosh. Oh, there it is. We're going to go top path here, and then we'll get the Energizer. Once we have the Monkeynomics, and we'll be making money. Oh, my. Oh, my. So many, so many festivalaries. Oh, my. Get the monkey nomics, so much money. Holy smoke, Soak that up to a tech bot. It's all right, now we're making dough. We got Brickle, our captain here, out here in her little pontoon boat, absolutely helping us take down these nasty brooms. We're gonna cash in next round. Oh my goodness, get Energizer. <laughs> and it's just nice to have it here in the middle doing some extra DPS, these clump balloonies. Now, it's time for another sub. All right, we'll grab this sub, and this one's going to be the sub commander. A giant guy like this. Juicy. Then we'll get the permabrew. Dude, permabrew on all these subs with the DPS they have? Oh my goodness. I think the last thing to do is like, I don't I don't even know. Let's get some top path subs. Oh, we can get the yaboinker sub. Wait, and by sub, I mean monkey buccaneer. The pirate lord. Check this out. <laughs> then we're going to hook that up to a tech bot as well. Wom, wom, wom. I love this ability. Wait, look at him, look at him, look at him. Oh, bub, 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 bub. Wait, pull something. Wait, no balloons are coming out. Hold on. Oh, we guess. Wait, it's 95. The sharks. Oh, no, the sharks are coming. <laughs> Thankfully, the pirate lord pulled one in quick for us. But holy smokes, dude, our DPS. Well, I suppose the last thing here is to beat this giant whale, and we'll finally be safe. Oh, no. Where'd all our monkeys go? Wait, what happened? I'm buying the nav arc of the seas, baby. <laughs> I sold them all so we could buy a nav arc. Now, maybe we could take down the bad whale without it, but a ship like this, I mean, check this out. Oh no, the bad whale, oh, it's gonna, wait, wait, wait. Wait, I was gonna pop the hook ability and just, just one shot it, but the planes actually killed it before. Well, that went well, I suppose. <laughs> So with the Navark of the Seas by our side, the big ship, we took down all these balloons, all those crazy fish in the sea. All my monkey buddies and I, we hopped over the little cabin, took all the goodies, broke that thing apart, took all the wood from it, repaired our ship back together, and we were off. Heading out of the Arctic Tundra, we were finally safe from all these crazy fish and balloons. After a few days voyage, we made it to a location. We hit the dock, unloaded all our cargo, and sold a bunch of expensive bananas to the monkey people. And honestly, it was a huge paycheck and well worth it. So that night, we went all and we celebrated. Yeah, we celebrated with a nice steak dinner. It was good. And we knew we'd be living well for quite some time. Or at least until the next adventure. Until next time, guys. I'm Nerves. Peace out.